Hey, Sim here. This is probably one of the most important videos I've made all year. If you're using a version of Tableau that is older than 2020.4 and it's not the most recent build of 2020.4, then you need to uninstall it or update it immediately. So <laughs> I'm literally rendering this video on the log 4J2 vulnerability. Um, I just literally recorded it thinking that there's a fix um, to the original vulnerability. Now there actually is, and uh, everything you're going to see in this video is something I would still recommend you do because it does reduce your risk um, from this particular vulnerability. But there is yet another issue with this Log4J2 uh, a particular patch. Um, big thanks to Mark Reed, uh, Tableau Zen Master, for alerting me to this right before I published this video. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the description. I don't have time to re-record the video, so I'm going to put the notes to that particular new issue in the description of this video. And so everything I'm saying in this video, just watch it, but bear in mind that they might yet be another set of updates after what I've recommended doing in this video in order to be fully up to date and not be vulnerable to the log uh, 4J2 vulnerabilities that are being uh, discovered as we speak. So yeah, that's just a small sort of preamble for this video. Enjoy the rest of it. In essence, the log 4J2 vulnerability that has sort of been moving through the technology uh, sphere at the moment uh, has a vulnerability that essentially allows for remote code execution in products that use this particular technology in Apache. Now, Apache is a piece of uh, open source, um, I think it's open source software. I'm going to call it software. It's probably not the right term, but essentially it's a, it's a particular technology that's incorporated in lots of software to allow it to sort of communicate with the web and other web-based technologies. Now, in essence, because all Tableau products use this capability, all Tableau products are affected. And you might think this only involves server or Tableau online. This actually involves every single Tableau product. Tableau desktop, Tableau public, Tableau reader, Tableau online, Tableau server, Tableau prep builder for Mac, Windows, and all of those Tableau online, Tableau desktop, you know, everything, everything's affected. You know, whether it's Linux, Windows or Mac, it's affected. This is a vulnerability, sort of one of those vulnerabilities that comes through in the technology sphere and just, you know, shakes everything up. Now, it's super important you update. And the reason the version really matters here is because if you're using an older version than 2020.4, then you've kind of been forced into a, an unhappy wedge here because um, any older version of Tableau doesn't actually have maintenance anymore. So this is one of those weird cases where maintenance ended for 2020.3 and older um, a while back. Essentially, Tableau said they weren't going to patch these. If I go to the Tableau uh, you know, website here, let me go to the desktop builds because these are a bit easier to see. And I go to 2020.3 and I go to the most recent release uh, and it's 15th of September. You'll see here that when I go to this page, there's an early, an early end of maintenance notice here that essentially says that Tableau is not going to be updating this going forward. Where this really matters is when a vulnerability comes up because what they're not going to do is update this version to meet that vulnerability. So if you go back to the downloads and you look at 2020.4, you'll see they actually have patched that specific version. So if I go back, go to 2020.4 and look at the update from the 15th of December, then you'll see that the patch that was applied here is for this particular vulnerability. Now, the thing to bear in mind here is that um, you can't just be on 2020.4. You have to be on the version released on the 15th of December. Um, with all versions, whether it's Tableau Prep, if I go to the latest version here, for example, and I look at this, you'll see that this was specifically fixed in uh, the 15th of December. And with Tableau Prep, there's another kicker because if you go back, um, they don't actually often update older versions. So for Tableau Prep, you can't stay on an older version and assume to get the latest features, right? So if you're on Tableau Prep, your your only option really is to update to twenty one point four point two. That you can't use an older version. It's just it's just not an option because those versions have not been patched to meet this vulnerability. So the other complication here is that each software has a slightly different requirement. With desktop, if I go to, let's say, 21.3 and I look at the patches, you see they have actually patched this to meet the latest releases. So because of the way Tableau Prep works, essentially every release is a patch. So therefore you can't sort of expect them to patch older versions to meet today's requirements for this particular vulnerability. Sort of a weird thing to have to explain to people. 
Tableau version numbers and patches and updates and upgrades are just sometimes a complex thing to explain. Maybe that's a video in itself. But nonetheless, um, that's something to be aware of. If you're using Tableau Prep, your only option to fix this vulnerability is to install the latest version. That's not just the one that was patched today or uh, 15th of December, depending on when you watch this. Specifically, 2021.4.1 is the only version that has this particular patch for this vulnerability. Now, if I go back, um, Tableau have this really nice support guide, which you can sort of go through. Essentially, the main option here is to update. If you don't want to update, let's say you want to do something else, that's also fine. What I'd encourage you to do is to just look at this uh, knowledge base article. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can check it out yourself. There are different instructions if you don't want to update your software. What I will say about these is that I think they're a little hard to maintain. There's a lot of steps, 11 steps uh, for Linux, eight step for Windows, nine. I mean, these are not the kind of steps that most people in corporate environments can do without having some sort of admin access. You know, on Mac OS, doing sudo commands on a work laptop is going to require you to have admin rights on your computer. On Windows, editing uh, things like your registry and going in and changing directories, specifically where things are installed and changing the values of all these things is also going to require admin rights. I'm pretty certain it's going to require admin rights. Um, so, Definitely try and check to see, okay, is your organization already doing this? If you're using Tableau on your personal machine, Tableau Public, Tableau Desktop, then you need to just go ahead and do these things anyway. By far, the easiest thing to do is just to update Tableau. This way, you know you've got the latest version of Tableau. If something else comes out with this vulnerability, you know that you're up to date and you can essentially just keep updating. But for everything else, you need to uninstall older versions and make sure you uninstall them because you're still exposed if you've got them sitting on your laptop. You've still got them sitting there um, and someone could send you a workbook that's targeted for one of these older versions. You could sort of innocently open it and make a mistake and now your laptop becomes compromised and someone can con take control of your laptop using this vulnerability. Then from your laptop, get access to your server and all your data. It's a nightmare you don't want to live in. So update Tableau. It's really important and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.